dear children we are starting our social science class in the beginning we are going to discuss about the history lessons in history the first lesson is uh, the revolutions that have influenced the world the revolutions that influenced the world that is our first uh, lesson you please take your textbook here you can see our first uh, lesson that is starting with a poem a poem written by kumarnasam oru udbodhanam you please see that freedom alone is nectar divine freedom is the life itself to a self respecting people slavery is more terrible than death freedom alone is nectar divine freedom is the life itself to a self respecting people slavery is more terrible than death this poem these lines from oru udbodhanam written by kumarnasan is saying about the, the importance of freedom the importance of freedom there were freedom struggles that took place in different part of the world we know about the freedom struggle that took place in india we got independence in 1947 and we had a fought against british rule here in india about 200 years several such struggles that took place in different part of the world and all these struggles were to change the existing systems of administration that were denying freedom the changing of existing system that is called as revolution that's why these struggles that took place in different part of the world are known as revolutions the major factor that stimulated these revolutions were renaissance renaissance was the major factor that stimulated the earlier revolutions the renaissance about renaissance we had studied in our earlier classes what is meant by renaissance renaissance means a new awakening in the field of thought science etc human thought it made the changes in human thought human life the views of the people it created a scientific temper spirit of enquiry rationalism humanism that type of ideas that uh, were created by that were generated by renaissance among the people the ideas like uh, humanism scientific temper rationalism and the uh, spirit of enquiry these were the ideas of renaissance these ideas that caused the for the development of science progress of science the progress of science that caused the for the course that caused the by renaissance that uh, generated or that gave birth to a new movement new movement in the world that movement was known as enlightenment movement enlightenment movement enlightenment movement 
it was a moment in the field of intellectual field and uh, uh, in the field of thoughts ideas several thinkers were there in enlightenment moment these thinkers of enlightenment moment had uh, propagated the ideas like a uh, democracy freedom freedom of uh, thoughts freedom of rights freedom to live that type of ideas the idea of democracy that were propagated by the thinkers of enlightenment movement and they began to influence the common people eh, or the people who are thinking in the society and uh, that caused for struggle against uh, the rulers who are suppressing them who are exploiting them these struggles were known as revolutions this type of revolutions had uh, took place in different part of the world here in this lesson we are going to study about this type of revolutions the first revolution that we are studying here that is the american war of independence the american war of independence you please see there in our textbook in the beginning of this part the american war of independence you can see that a slogan is given there a slogan no taxation without representation that slogan was framed by james ortiz an american thinker james ortiz had framed uh, that uh, slogan that slogan was raised by the people of north america no taxation without a representation it was the slogan what is meant by this slogan what you can understand from this slogan the people of north america were not ready to they are saying that uh, we are not ready to pay tax we are not ready to pay tax to the government until we are getting representation in the government that means they have no representation in the government then who were leading this government who were ruling in north america that's the question that is arising there the rulers in north america were foreigners mainly britain the history behind this it was from 16th century onwards there were european migration towards north american places north american continent the europeans they reached there to exploit the natural resources of north america to exploit the natural resources of north america europeans migrated to north american continent by the 18th century britain established some colonies there some places were ruled by britain they made uh, these places as their colonies and by that 13 colonies 13 british colonies were there in north america in 18th century and uh, britain began to rule that uh, place by suppressing the rights of the people of that uh, colonies here a map is given you please see that map and uh, you please 
try to locate the places that were ruled by Britain, the British colonies in North America. And you please write that in your source science notebook as a work. The people of these places had a, a struggled against a Britain. The reason that we had a told already, the people had a no representation in the government. They were exploited by the Britain, British government, British government in North America. The reason, the reasons of this American war of independence, the course of the American War of Independence and the results of the American War of Independence that we will study in our next class and now we are going to wind up. Namaskaram.